Ah, Nanako-chan. Do, do you want to go to Junais today? Just, just you and me? I don't even need to say anything else. Like, that's just... <laughs> I had, like, this whole thing in my mind. I planned out. Nope. Don't need it. That's all you need. All the implication is there. Launch. Lunch. You'll be pretty cool, kid, too. All right. The Persona 4 Golden Experience. All right, let's fucking go, gamers. So last I left off. <laughs> uh, things were about to start, kinda, I think, right? We, we hit a pretty major story beat, and then I decided to Call it there. So let's just fucking. Oh, yeah, we need to check out the Midnight Channel. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Question mark. Oh man, who could this mysterious person be? Peep beep, peep pee. Did you see that? Oh. We figured it out. Wait, is that the name of the person? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I knew I saw him somewhere. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. Yeah, that's the name He's of the guy. He's a scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. All right. Like so we finally clock. have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Oh, all right, I almost sounds forgot. Good. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? Go ahead. It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. Trying to fuck? So, uh, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? Both, neither Chie or Yukiko. I don't know. Be a Chad. I, I feel like there's no right answer here. I'm gonna hit him with that neither. Your courage has increased. Your courage has advanced from average to reliable. <laughs> kind of harsh, don't you think? I 
Have you seen those two? Like, really? Well, I kind of understand. They're great girls, but you saw their ugly sides right off, and I guess your first impression is the one that It has sticks. nothing to do with the ugly side. It has the fact to do with fucking Chie. Holy shit, is the most annoying... Oh my god. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Okay, see you tomorrow. I don't think it has anything to do with that. Don't you- don't assume. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Yeah. Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? You know him, Yukiko? Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Ah. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. Mm. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. We can hope. All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. Oh, please. Who the fuck is Hello? this jerk off? Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. I was about to say, I'm like... Hmm... <laughs> What's up with him, weirdo? What did he do? Uh -huh. Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually... Fucking... Hey, this scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! Really, Chie? We're, like, going on this whole investigation thing. We're trying to be, like... Detectives, and you're just gonna be like... INSIDE THE TV! That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then, it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamano? Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair. But in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Mm. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? Jinkies! How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. 
You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. How much have you missed in the past 15 minutes? Uh... Not much. Scarf. You missed Scarf. And also, they finally figured out who it was. It was fucking... That one guy. I'll come again, ma'am. Biker Is gang, man. Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. Kanji. Right. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Kanji. Come on, let's talk outside. Listen, tomato, tomato, all right? Hmm? It's Kanji-kun. Yeah, it's Kanji-kun. Quick, hide! Hide? What the fuck is wrong with you? You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying! You eavesdropped on Kanji's conversation with the boy. T tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? S school? Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. D did, he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? Prick means small penis. <gasps> it scared the hell out of me! He's even worse in person than on TV! That's not the point, Common. I, I got the point. I'm just... Listen. I gotta, I gotta misdirect. The one on TV last night was definitely make jokes as the streamer. Yeah, and I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Means they're fucking. Wait. No. Um. I think whoever it is is using kanji to get to the mother. Kinda. thought about that oh maybe it's similar to my case if you think about it my mother fit the victim profile more than I did she was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano but I was the one who was targeted does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother yeah probably but if that's true then the killer's motive makes no sense at all Gotta end the one line. to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Who knows? Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? Oh, I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? Keep in mind, for some reason, you four are the only idiots who look at a TV at midnight on rainy days. Yeah, like nobody else is just sitting there watching TV late at night. <laughs> Seinfeld funny. We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... 
Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about Fucking up weirdo. At I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah. Something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. <sighs> I can sense it. Yeah, I'm... Everyone can. Everyone in a country mile can sense that something is going on, Chie. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. The delinquent is skipping school. Who would have thought? No, no, no. The crazy thing is that now he's going to school. He's going to go meet someone at school. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Fucking gay uh, lord. No, I got everybody's phone number except for hers. Now that's revolutionary. Listen, this will make the case. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. Why don't you just put yourself in there? <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? What the fuck, Yosuke? You really sound like a pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yosuke. What was that? Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way what home. What was that about dirty jokes, Yosuke? <laughs> oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah, sure. He decided to stake out Kanji in the textile shop tomorrow. Oh god, it's already evening. God, fucking. Welcome home. Thanks, Danico. Nothing catches your eye. How you doing? The boys at school pretend they're in gangs when they run around. It's kind of weird. Yeah, okay. Has the target arrived at school? He just didn't notice. Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Ma'am. Fuck off. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break with mother issued rations in hand. Mother issued rations? Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. What is this? The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. Yosuke's attempt to sound cool. And <laughs> it's working perfectly. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. Even though he very clearly didn't just get there too. What in the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Gotta keep 40 feet. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji, and the other will stake out the shop. Hold on. This is very important.
Hey, boss, you think this guy behind us is a little suspicious? You mean the one that hit eight stoplights, three cars, two pedestrians, and then drove on the sidewalk for five blocks? Yeah, uh, that one. Nah, he's over 40 feet back. He's fine. Oh, he is? As we say in the mob, if you're over 40 feet back, you ain't suspicious. We do say that, yeah. This joke. Uh, perfect. We do say that, yeah. that how should we split the teams oh god beat saber modding group discord just broke my discord yukiko i was thinking chie i'm thinking about who has the best dialogue so I was thinking she or Yosuke. Yukiko does? Alright, fine. I feel like I'm getting baited here. Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke! Think of how awkward it is. Jesus Christ. So I'm pairing up with Chie? Uh, okay. All right, we'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh, let's hurry up and go. I wonder if those two will be all right. I'm sure they'll be fine. Or maybe they won't. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. So, shall we? Yeah. This is also the canon interaction. Okay. I'll take it. Oh. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. How, how nice. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. We're just chilling out by the Do fucking shrine. Do you think shrine. the culprit will come? No worries, I'll protect you. <sighs> Fuck it. I just, I don't even care at this point. Unfortunately, you didn't have enough courage to actually say that. Do you think the culprit will come? But I just, my courage just like leveled up or something, didn't it? You have to be courage four? All right, fine. I doubt it. Our efforts might be fruitless, but maybe that's for the best. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. Of course. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. Nobody's asking you to be here, you could go. Oh, sorry. Fucking... I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Literally just a human being. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. 
What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the same is true for me. Yeah, all right. Stick your hand to the TV. Initially, and she asks if you're all right. The canon, the canon answer is, I think I'm dying. Oh, did we get the high priestess? The high priestess. Yukiko and Magi, uh, the priestess Arcana. Yeah, whatever. You haven't yet asked Yukiko for her contact information. Yeah, just fucking... Huh? Oh, Kano is answered since I help out around the inn. But feel free to call any time. Big dubs. Big dubs. Oh, hey, it's the fag couple. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them! I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. She is homophobic. Uh, this is the one instance where I will veto game language change, so... Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I, I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. That, you, I hate that. Like, as a kid, it kind of makes sense because kids lie for no reason, right? But, like, when you're, like, a teenager... It's like, I, I I will tell you something outright. I tell you, I don't know this. And you're just going to be like, I don't believe you. You know something. I don't. <laughs> what's, what's your problem? What are you two doing? Oh, well, you see, we're, we're just too crazy. What do you mean, bird? <laughs> what do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking These behind games you are guys. written by people who have never seen a teenager in their life. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting... Strange. Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! <laughs> Say what you think. Y you got it all wrong.
<laughs> they're, they're running laps, dude. Fucking Yosuke needs some exercise. Hey, are you listening, damn it? It seriously ain't like that. He just doesn't want people to think he's gay. We regret to inform that our mission failed. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji-kun will come home. This is one of the few JP games that's better in English. You see, that's the thing, though. We speak English, right? Uh, uh, it's probably like a mother tongue thing, right? Kind of like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. It's like those dubs are so good. Like, they're probably good in JP. But we speak English, and the English dub is good. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. Oh, you like big big attack. <laughs> We're not a couple. Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. But damn it. This guy's troubled. Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Now is not the fucking time, Yosuke. Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! <laughs> <laughs> Ran away from Kanji as fast as your legs would carry you. Uh, oh, too much running. Aren't you, like, athletic or something? I don't know. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. Nothing happened. Really now? Really? It's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Yeah, okay. Welcome home, big bro. Sorry, raining. I hope you didn't get wet out there. Yeah, okay. Let me guess. We're going to look at the Midnight Channel again, and something's going to happen. Also, a certain character who is viewed amazingly in English, uh, done quite poorly in Japanese. He selected to be more suited to her alter ego rather than her actual character. It feels out of place. Hmm. Let me guess. Hello? It's you, can I can I take a I'm wild sorry, guess? So which character you're talking about? Just, just a wild guess. Is it Yukiko? Is it Yukiko? Uh, Kanji kun seems to be missing. I had some calls to make for the inn, so I called the textile shop as well. When I spoke to Kanji kun's mother. You're wrong. Listen. It seems like the kind of thing. She told me that he left the house and hasn't returned since. 
She did say that this happens all the time, but what do you think? Sounds bad. I think so too. He could be. It's going to rain again tonight. Maybe the midnight channel will come on. Then we'll know for sure if something happened to Kanjikun or not. I'll make sure to check out the TV at midnight. Talk to you later. TTYL. He sent me that 40 feet back. Oh, yeah. Ra ra ah ah ah. I'll do it right fucking now. Roma Roma ma. Gaga ooh Yukiko hung up. You need to watch the Midnight Channel. It's still raining. Oh boy. You see something on the screen. The image is clear and sharp. Hello, dear viewers. It's time for Bad Bad Bathhouse. Tonight I'll introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak-in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Woo! Well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! <laughs> <laughs> was unmistakably kanji. Hey, what the? I mean... Yo Yosuke is too flustered to get his point across. Calm down. I mean, a superb sight for those searching for sublime love? I just don't get it. Anyways, we better hurry and come up with a plan tomorrow. You decided to go to bed. Cool. <sighs> Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. what the midnight channel really is oh you know just typical stuff mm. at first i thought it was one of those paranormal things but when i gave it a try it was real turns out it's actually connected to another world if there's a rumor going around that means a bunch of people are watching it how did the rumor go if you stare into a turned-off TV on a rainy night... You'll see the person... No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. I mean, is anyone else talking about it? But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. 
If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Yeah, that sounds about right. Huh. Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um, this might be a little off subject, but the culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Oh, wait a sec. I bet he is enjoying it. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. Could you scream any louder? Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. You should go look in a mirror, Yosuke. Oh, fuck. Oh, eh, eh. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. Thank you. Wait. So if people saw Yukiko's show... Do you think people were watching what happened to me, too? I don't even remember what Chie's was. Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face! Guys! <laughs> First we save Kanji, then we crush the killer! That, that was the plan. Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Got it? Alright. There wasn't a TV thing because you were in the TV. Oh. Right. Huh. The fool. Investigation team social link has reached level three. Paragraph. Blah. <laughs> Chie, those last two were the same thing. Lol. Uh, I know. We playing video games, gamers. Hey, Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. Hey, why the long face, big guy? You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff. But I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. Oh god. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. You smell silicon? Teddy? <laughs> yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji Kun personally? How about, how about small rodents? Do you smell any small rodents around? All right. So we need to ask around about fucking Kanji Kun. Kanji, is your friend or something? Sorry, I don't know about him. Wish I could be more help. 
Yeah, I wish you could be more of help too, bitch. It's a Tsumi boy. He used to play around here a long time ago, but he's changed a lot since then. Lately, he seems to just wander around town. I feel sorry for his mother. I feel sorry for you, old bitch. Oh, it's you. How goes the fishing? Never mind. Me and my older syllabo, uh... Okay. Oh, hey. Ask around instead of worrying. Ask some of my old friends. Yeah. Say, do you like cats? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> good. Then we are allies. Cats are so nice, aren't they? They get attached to you pretty quickly if you give them food, though. My store was becoming sort of a cat mansion, no thanks to me. The wife was none too pleased. Still advertising. Meow, meow. I agree. I already talked to you. Wait, do you have info? I can't even go into the Konishi liquor store, dude. Ask around Junais, I guess. Wonder if anything's on sale today. Yes, you can. Just gotta try. Tiny soul tomato, fine. Eating your vegetables like a good boy? Yep. Yeah, SP recovery seems to be, like, the main... Like, that seems to be the most important type of item. Tatsumi, I don't know about him. Uh, textile shop. Anything new? No. I don't think I have anything new for this guy. I want to take a look, though. Yeah, okay. Talk. All of a sudden, he decided to settle it with one of the biker gangs. He took one of my good shields. He did not fight against children. It's an insult to my art. Maybe we shouldn't tell him that we're fighting shadow creatures in another realm. Did you hear? Now it's biker gangs. I mean... Really? Biker gangs? That's what it's like out here in the sticks. I wonder who's doing it. Maybe it's the kind of people who say things like radical, punk, daddy-o. Eh, probably not, huh? That's funny. I asked people who knew Kanji Kun's family or their shop, but all I heard were bad rumors of people who... people saying he was cute when he was little, that kind of thing. Not sure who that would be. I think we both know. Oh, I need to check with the Shrine Kid. I need my Tatsuhime Ladybug. Clouds are fluffy and the tofu is fluffy too. The tofu is square and white. Wonder if there are other things that are square and white. Notebook, sugar cubes, dice. Mahjong tiles. Those don't count. They're green on one side. Fuck you! <laughs> I've seen like real Mahjong tiles. Girl's still there, huh? She's over there staring. My boyfriend has been in the city, I'm worried. Don't let her become insecure. I understand. Uh, 
uh, everyone's giving me the cold shoulder. Hatsumi is always wearing a shirt with a skull on it, right? If I recall correctly, I see him out in front of his mother's store from time to time. So refined. Okay. Okay, hold on. I need my Tatsuhime ladybug. This is very important. Okay. The natural. Yeah, of course. Yes. We said no last time. We'll say yes this time. Okay. Oh! I know. Hey, youngster, did you catch that thing on the TV? Kids these days. Sheesh! I bet that one who went on a rampage was probably that kanji from Tatsu. Apparently, Louis Vuitton made an $80,000 $80, completely jade mahjong tile set. Jesus Christ. Ken Bourne, when he was a child. Uh, he's such a delinquent. What a shame. His mother is such a nice lady, too. Uh, no, not yet. You might actually progress the story. Wonder what kind of kid he is. Motorcycle, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Liquor stores are open at night. Not where I live. Their daughter died just like over a month ago. Life goes on! Thank you. Jeez, I wonder where he's wandered off to now. He's always like this. You know, there was a small boy who came in asking about him not long ago. Talked to him too. I haven't seen him around lately. You might know something. You decided to search for the boy. Can I get a haircut yet? Alright, I, I got called in for... For food. So I'm gonna let this music play and I'll be right back real quick. Really quick. Five seconds. Mistake.
This was a mistake. I got I got New Year's uh, sushi and tamales from the grocery store. Happy New Year. You know, the very traditional American sushi and tamales for New Year's Eve. I got a necklace too. All right. Let's go find this fucking bitch boy. Hmm. Hold on. Are the test scores posted yet? Fuck. Oh god, these two pieces are like stuck together. I feel like this hat could fall off at any given moment with like no warning. Fucking, where's this dude at? <laughs> sure, what's up? Dowsing rod. Yeah, okay. What, she just wants a suspicious pull? What's wrong with that? I don't see any issues here. Who the fuck are you?
You hear the rhythmic sounds of sewing machines. Oh boy. You seen anything? Lol. <clears throat> I can sense it when love blossoms. The girl who studies at the library every day. Alright. I don't know who the fuck you're talking about, but okay. Counselor's office. Maybe another time. No. You guys got anything? Disappointed. Good. It's probably one of them gay boys, too. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's just check the Dojima residence. It's the last place anyone would check. She's fucking killing this dog. And we all know it. Apparently no one in this fucking town wears a hat. Okay, here I go. Have you found him? No. I'm relying on you, cat. Every day is great at your Junas. You decide to return here tomorrow. The cat knows all. <clears throat> Clearly. I mean, they definitely act like they know everything. Split up and look around.
The cat knows all. All right. I think that's everything. Uh, I'm trying to think if there is anybody else I should talk to. I think I should uh, go spend time with what's their nuts. The basketball boys. Let's fucking go! Yasugami, hi Jim. You attended basketball practice. Your diligence has increased. Changed from callow to persistent. Huh? The others already left? This is exactly why this team is... <sighs> Whatever. Hey, good news. You're getting a team manager. Now you guys won't have to take turns doing all the work anymore. You can thank me later. Go on, introduce yourself. Are you fucking... I, Ebihara. Okay. Great, you can take it from here. I'm going home. Smile. What? I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, I'm not lifting a finger for this team. I wouldn't be caught dead watching out for a bunch of sweaty guys. Then, why'd you... I've missed too many days of school, but they'll let me move up if I manage a team. But don't expect me to put any effort into it. For the most part, I'm not even gonna be here. Goodbye! Well, see ya, or not. Lol. Aren't there six players in a basketball? <sighs> I don't know. Apparently a bunch of people left early. Yeah, that's about what I expected when I saw I here. So much for leaving a ma so much for having a manager, rather. All right. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's go grab some food. I just ate, so... You know. Ever since I had to bail on you guys last time. How'd it go? What, the dream? Oh, you mean with my family? Well, it's complicated. Ko is laughing. Basically, I told you all about it, right, Common? Family's pretty interesting. Arranged marriages for political gain are pretty standard with us. Just the other day, I was greeting people at one of these high society gatherings. Can you imagine? Me, one of those things. Yeah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> Seriously, I have to laugh at myself sometimes. Anyway, if you ever run into anyone in my family, don't tell them I eat here or talk like this. At home, it's nothing but studying, tea ceremonies, and lessons. For them, I'm the prim and proper Kolsama. Kolsama? Yep, that's what they call me. I know it sounds crappy, but they... Hey. They feed me and give me an allowance. I need to do my part too, you know. I don't know, man. Eh, it doesn't matter. It might all be over soon anyway. We're an old-fashioned family, so the Ichijo name has been passed from generation to generation. But the last male of my family, my dad, didn't have any kids to pass the name on to. Well, they weren't just gonna let the Ichijo name just up and die, so they adopted me. Oh. And then, what do you know? My dad ended up having a kid after all. A girl. I guess you could say she's a little sister to me. Her name's Sechiko. She's almost two, and she's really cute, you know? Ko tr so tries to sound cheerful. Imagine being adopted, lol. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cheer up, man. Well, nah. Sounds kind of tough. Sounds like you never really had a family life, then. 
kind of sucks. <laughs> that doesn't really sound like a that's good for you. That sounds like you're missing out on a very integral part of your life. But I guess he doesn't have to be a part of the prim and proper pieces of shit anymore. Yeah. Let's be positive. Better this way. Becoming the successor would be a major hassle. And really, should go to a blood relative. Sorry, didn't mean to put a damper on the mood. Huh. <laughs> heart to heart. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. Strength. <laughs> Those fools don't know the level of competitive eating you've achieved. We're not quite there yet, though. We will get there. Welcome. Listen, by the end of this playthrough, the fucking shop owner will know everything about me. Alright. Oh, Nadako needs something. Oh. Open the fridge. There's a chilled gulping melon cream soda. Nice. I don't know if that actually did anything. Yes, we have to. Oh, um... Big bro! No! Nanako is fidgeting. What's wrong? Um... Nanako looks embarrassed. Are you an only child? I mean, in real life? No? <laughs> Answer is yes. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just like me. Oh, but I have you now, so... A while ago, Daddy told me that our family won't get any bigger. <laughs> now I have a big brother. Justice. I want to hear about your school. Good night. Yeah, so we're looking for this little fag boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is the entire event. Sag. Yo! Can I eat this fucking thing now? Oh, this is the chicken one. Hold on. According to the weather report, we won't have to worry about the fog for a while. That's a good plan. Uh, advantage, blah, blah, blah. Bypass! Hmm. Hey, everyone. They posted the test results. Let's see. Come on. 
Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Your score was in the top 10. Good going. So smart. So if I like completely flunk out, are they like, hey, fucking idiot, get out of my sight, retard. That's pretty good. Chicken tamale. Who's the number one nerd? Go beat him up. Hold on. So if I go to check the test scores, does it actually like show it? Like show the exact results? No, it just says you're in the top 10. I'm guessing if you get everything right, it says like, oh, you got, you were, you're perfect. I'm the smartest, just. Uh, flower of your romance really starts to bloom. What romance? Who are you? Who are you? You're the fuck. Ask her out. No. Ugh. I'm good. Thanks. Mm, fuck. Who are you? Got me. What is art? It's too difficult for me. Don't overthink it, man. Or do. Uh -huh. Not right now. I need to go to the top. The tippy top. Uh, nothing from the funky student. Which is just sad. Now we need to go talk to people. Just all over the place. 
We need to go to Juness. Hmm. Nothing new from these people. <laughs> In fact, everything here seems kind of fixed. Let's go to the Samago floodplain. Just real quick. Yo, can I fish? Pay attention to the gauge at the bottom of the screen. Move the bobber left and right with the uh, directional key. Oh, that's pretty easy. Amber Seema. No. Oh, does that change it to evening? No! Fuck. Welcome back. No, dude. Thousand yen? Ooh, boy. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I fucked up. You hate to see it. Uh, we should read. Let's read. Let's read. Diligence. Fishing. Understanding. We need courage. You begin reading The Lovely Man. Every chapter begins... All men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. The spirit of true manhood transcends space and time, and all people of all cultures and genders feel its call. Alright. I, I, I guess that's how that works. Biker gangs. Hello, yes, I I am the teacher for today. Manimadev. 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 Fuck! I wanted to go to practice or go to Juness or something. I fucked up, dude. Like, I, I almost want to go back to my old save and redo everything. I 
what's the whole thing with that? I, I have, like, not realized. What did you mess up? Ko was... It was the day where Ko wasn't here. And fucking... What is this asshole's name? Daisuke. Was like, hey. Can you go to practice to see if Ko's alright? And I was like, I'll do it later. And then I went to go fishing. Because I didn't realize that fishing progressed the time. I should have known. I should have known. And what happened? I, I missed the event. I couldn't go do the event. Because I was fishing. Too busy fishing. Just like real life. <laughs> always fishing. Who was the guy that needed to know about the girl who needed... God damn it. about her hobbies. I did that. So do I talk to this guy again? No. I asked about her hobbies. I asked about her dreams, her aspirations, why she's on the roof. Who are you? Oh yeah, you're the fucking weirdo. Now it's Friday, so even at Junis, he's not gonna fucking the, the the headed boy isn't gonna be there. Oh hey, Dojima. Oh. Or Adachi. Fuck. <laughs> I kinda wanna gather everyone at the food court. But at the same time, I feel like that might not be the best idea. Maybe? I don't know, dude. Is every day great at your Juness? Is it? We're doing it. The fox is here! Whoa, something's here! A, a fox? When did it... You encountered at the shrine is sitting next to you. Could it have followed you without you noticing? Whoa, where did this guy come from? Dude, it looks scary too. Oh, this apron. I think I've seen it at the shrine before. Told everyone about your encounter with the mysterious fox. Huh? Curious with leaves? Huh? Cooperate with us? Are you serious? So it wants money in exchange for fixing us up? Yeah. What, you don't want a dedicated healer? You are getting your ass beat, Yosuke. What's with this guy? It acts like it understands what we're talking about. It yipped again. Maybe it really does. But, but when you think about it, that means the police on duty and whatnot didn't find this fox, right? If it followed after us, then it really is something. Huh? You think it really understands us? What should we do? Well, I'd feel bad if we trapped it. It doesn't look like it'll do us any harm. What do you think? I mean... 
Let's let it help. Yeah. I'm thinking about what happened at the shrine. Don't you think this curing would be a big help for us? Huh? Are you suggesting we take it into that other world? Yeah. Mm. Mm, I guess that might work. It doesn't seem like it's going to leave that easily either. And I definitely don't want it being all sulky and getting up to mischief in the store. The fox looks satisfied. You should try taking it into the other world. Mayhaps. All right, what's the weather report? So we got rain on the 23rd. All right. Fuck it, let's go. Oh, we can't go back to, okay. I thought we could go to Yukiko Castle. Let's go back to town. Okay, it's still after school. So we can gather them there without... Okay. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go see if we can craft some stuff. <clears throat> like, uh, you know. Personas. None. Okay. I'm level 16. J Zai? Zai? J Zai? Fuck it. We don't have the sun for a thing we have fortune I believe we have temperance but those are way too high I don't want to get rid of Jack Frost Guapa. Grr.
I'm upset with myself for fucking that up. Because there was a lot of stuff to do yesterday. Now there's like nothing to do today. I guess I could go to the library to study. It would be better than just wasting it by going to home, quote unquote. Formed to expert. Hell yeah. Welcome. How you doing, Nanako? Oh, fuck. You need something? same time not a go we need our courage up but do we really is way too fucking big. Can I just like... It really is just too big. <laughs> you know, Juness. I should probably get one of those like countdown things where it's like New Year in every time zone. New Year's in all time zones.
Well, I mean, we know what it is, but I want like I want like something that's like New Year's map. Oh, this works. Multi time zone countdown, text countdown. Graphical countdown. Oh, God, that's huge. Every day is great at your Juness. God, it's already midday tomorrow for Japan. It's crazy. Every day is great at your Jonas. All right, it's New Year's in like uh, two hour, two and a half hours for New York. Here, let's fucking do this. Good enough. <laughs> Lol. Uh. Uh. All right. So now it's Saturday. Why did I have school on Saturday? What the fuck? That means, boy with the hat shouldn't be at Junes, right? It was something I felt uh, when I was with him, so I told him outright he seemed to be an odd person. After I said that, his expression changed. 
All of a sudden, I was quite surprised. On that basis, I believe his actions were somewhat forced and unnatural throughout the time I was with him. He may have some sort of complex, though I have no proof of this. Kanji's purported reaction to the phrase, odd person. Alright. Apparently that's all I needed. Alright, so now let's spend the time with... Ko. Or let's do the Ko event. Because we need to. It's very important. Basically, he seems to admire you. Your diligence has increased. Ko isn't there. Perhaps something urgent came up. Man, I'm beat. Let's call it a day. Fucking assholes. You also got me high school uh, shoe lockers. Ko's shoes are still in his box. Seems he's still at school. He decided to go f look for him. He also got me a high rooftop. I thought he was going to be jacking it. I was like, fuck, no. You see Ko. Hey. Practice over already? Is something wrong? <sighs> nah, it's nothing. No, I can't lie to you. There is something. Nothing big, though. It seems Ko is trying to find the right words. I don't know if I like basketball anymore. It's not my family. I got their blessing. They told me I can do whatever I want. It's funny. They were also dead set against me playing ball. Now I can do anything. So I shot a few hoops this morning. But I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling anything. It wasn't fun. It wasn't boring. It was just... Nothing. Ko looks up at the sky. I've been here since class gone out. Then I heard all the sports teams starting to practice. And I wondered, why does everyone look like they're having so much fun? I felt so distant. Oh, a bird. Birds have the life, man. They can fly as high as they want. But me, I'm feeling like I've sunk to the bottom of the ocean. I'm gonna fuck this up. I feel like this is not what he needs right now, but at the same time, I feel like it might be exactly what he needs right now. They both do sound good. Why is that an EST countdown? I'm counting down for all time zones in the United States. The 
continental United States. Or is it contiguous United States? It's one of those words. The mainland United States. In other words, not Alaska or Hawaii. All I know is that at this point, this sounds like the start of a depression for this guy. And the last thing you need in that sort of situation is to get a rest. That's how it starts, man. You say, oh, I'm just feeling tired. I'm gonna go lay down. Next thing you know, it's already fucking, you're 20 years old and you're playing video games on the internet for a living and not actually making any money for it. like these both sound like they could be correct but they can't also both be correct like one of those if one of these is right then the other one has to be wrong but they both sound good you know also what the fuck does his shirt say his his uniform I thought it <laughs> I thought it said atheist. <laughs> Mighty Mocha, should Tiger buy a stove? If he hollers, let him go. I want me to pick the very best one, and you are it. <laughs> Thanks, man. So is this the event you missed? Yes. Dude, I know that feeling. I can only handle so much time with my family. It's like, oh yeah, I, yeah, I guess. I guess, yeah. Oh yeah. like your family's like oh you had you had so much promise or you do you have a job yet are you a millionaire yet like, oh yeah mm -hmm. All right, we need to read the rest of The Lovely Man. And then tomorrow we go to the TV. For reals. Your courage has significantly increased. Nice. Oh, no phone call. Oh, fuck. Is that a plant? Good morning. Nanako seems troubled. What's up? Um, 
We were growing veggies at school. The okay. teacher gave us seedlings and told us to try growing them at home. I asked Dad, and he said I could plant them wherever I want. I don't know where's good, though. It seems Nanako wants to grow vegetables. You recall that there's an open plot of land on the side of the house. You may be able to set up a simple garden there. Is that part of the Dojima property? The place next to the house? Mm-hmm. We don't use it, but it's our yard. Is that where we're gonna plant the seedlings? Let's go. Is this where we're gonna plant the seedlings? Bring ha. Someone once planning to fix this yard? There are tools around here you think you can use. You should be able to make a nice garden with these. You use the tools here to make a garden. Your diligence has increased. You planted the tomato seedlings together with Nanako. Do you think the veggies will grow? I'm sure they will. Really? I can't wait! Hey, I want to make a sign! Oh. No one will know what we planted until the veggies grow. I gotta write down that there are veggies growing here. Okay. Let's make one. Yay! Thanks! Put up the sign next uh, to the garden you made with Nanako. Sign is smart, but it makes the perfect finishing touch. We did it! I'll be in charge of watering the plants. All right. It's all up to you, Nanako. Now. Nah, them together so we should grow them together too i'll keep an eye on them you know. if a lot of veggies grow will our house be like juness <laughs> every day will in fact be great <laughs> i can't wait wait why is the countdown frozen what the fuck Game sucks. By game, I mean... Pause to save RAM. Ah, there we go. This has to be the last thing I tabbed into. Uh, by using the gardening tools, you can check... Uh, on the progress of plants in your garden. He's dancing. <laughs> Fridge! Into my region. Oh, hey, who are you? Tell me why you did it, and we dream for in the park. Tell me 
uh, below market price. Tiny Soul Tomatoes. Return Daikon. Let's get some tomato seedlings. And then just fucking get the fuck out of here. I chose uh, tomato seedlings because they're soul tomatoes, so they restore soul points or something. And we don't really need return daikon because we got uh, we got uh, we got a bunch of those the fucking consumables for returning, don't we? So we're fine. Or something. Oh fuck! Is Junes closed? Oh no, that's fine. Okay. Is everyone here? Yeah, let's easy. <coughs> just the OG, OG items, but as vegetables. All right, so they're basically just berries from fucking Pokemon. It's just berries. There are some that are way fucking better. Oh. Oh. What's that weird thing with the red apron? Huh? Sensei's helper? Amazing. Sensei sure knows some neat people. Nice to meet you, Mr. Fox. Let's both do our best. Yeah. <laughs> Pat its head. The fox gave you one soul drop. Thank you. You can pet the dog. Fox. In Persona 4. Golden. Poggers! It heals you, by the way? Yeah. That's what I noticed. God. Yeah, this is the place. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is it just me or does the fog here seem kind of different? I don't like where this is going, chat. My glasses are fogging up. And it's hot in here. This place is like a Yep. Come here, pussy cat. Oh, such well defined pecs. There's no need to be scared. Uh, I don't know. Now just relax. Wait a sec. I don't want to go. Is Kanji Kun really here, Teddy? The nose knows. 
we're really going in here? Oh, I can already feel the sweat rolling down my back. That's because it's so hot. <laughs> 